So a gag order was issued right before the debate with Ben Shapiro and Candace Owens. And a lot of people are very disappointed about this. I want to talk about why this was and some of the little red flags I see about why this actually happened. Uh, if you don't know what a gag order is, it's basically a legal order that restricts certain information from being passed on to unauthorized third parties or the public. So it just seems really suspicious, the timing of when the gag order actually went through. Some people have suspected that the gag order was issued while they were in negotiations to have the debate with Ben and Candace, which I don't necessarily agree with that. I think it was always something that was in the works uh, to officially go through, but it they waited a little bit too long to actually have the debate and therefore it went through before the debate happened and now they can't do it. So a lot of this information is coming from journalist Glenn Greenwald, who says that the gag order was approved while they were in negotiations for the date times in the venue to be able to have this debate. And it appears to me that there was a lot of feet dragging throughout this process, right? Initially, it seemed like it was going to happen pretty quickly. Candace made a statement on Twitter and she said, hey, I'd love to have a debate with Ben Shapiro. Can anybody make this happen? Ben Shapiro responded probably within hours and he said, yeah, I'd love to. Let's make it happen. They went through all of this back and forth. Oh, I don't want it here. I don't want it there. But they eventually came to the conclusion that they would have it, but they just wouldn't do it at Daily Wire Studios. And then Candace said, people were asking Candace, hey, what's going on with the debate? Uh, we haven't heard anything. We thought that this was something that was going to happen pretty soon. And Candace responded that she had been trying to reach out to Ben and Daily Wire team for a while to make something happen, but they were non-responsive. Now we're hearing about this supposed gag order that was issued and that the debate possibly won't happen. But again, we're hearing this through the grapevine from a journalist. Again, his name is Glenn Greenwald. And he's saying that it probably will not happen. So this is according to an article by the New York Post, and it says, according to Greenwald, the gag order bars Owens from making any comments that could disparage Daily Wire or be perceived as harming his reputation. An arbitrator agreed with Daily Wire's contention that Owens' social media posts on X challenging Shapiro to a debate while questioning his views on Israel were disparaging. Listen, if you're saying I want to debate somebody and you're questioning their views, is that is that really disparaging? Because obviously you're doing all of that. You're asking these questions because you have some concerns or maybe it's because you disagree. That is kind of the point of a debate to be able to hash all of this out. Because right now with the wars and all of the things going on in the world, there are a lot of people who have a lot of questions and it would be good to hear discussions open like this so that people can hopefully get some answers. And it is my understanding that a gag order can be appealed and temporarily lifted. So if they really want to have this debate, then there is still a possibility that it could happen in the future. And with everything that's recently come up with the whole Anti-S Awareness Act, there are a lot of people who are outraged and have more questions now than ever. And we need to be having open discussions about this kind of stuff, not trying to make people quiet. And that essentially is what the Anti-S Awareness Act does. There is a part in there that says you can't question the H. And if you don't know what that is, I'll try to put something on the screen to make it a little bit more evident of what I'm talking about. But when you have things like that, it brings about even more questions because people are like, well, why are you silencing this topic? What's really going on? You know, it's going to create more curiosity. So you might as well just let people talk about it. And it is my kind of understanding that there are probably a lot of things if Ben wants to be committed to his J party and religion that he, I said party, <laughs> like it's Republican Democrat, but I, I guess essentially it is a party, right? Because they do stick very closely together, a lot of them. But if he wants to stay committed to the J people, there are probably a lot of things that he actually can't discuss. And he can't say that because then he looks like a coward. So anyway, I don't know what's going on, but I do hope that they end up having the debate. Let me know what you think. Y'all, I'm talking kind of fast because my the space on my camera is literally getting ready to run out. So I'm trying to <laughs> get this video in before it does. Um, I do have to delete some things. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And oh, also, I want to send you over to uh, get some vitamins if you are interested. 
uh, check out the website in the description. Y'all, these vitamins really do keep me going. They give me energy. I took some before this video and I'm probably feeling a little bit more energetic as well as I'm trying to hurry up before the space on my camera runs out. But yeah, go over, check it out. Got a lot of very healthy stuff on that website. Um, and if you'd like to purchase it or check it out, they have samples that you can try. Go over, click on the description and see what you like. But anyway, that is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, take care. God bless you. And I hope to see you in the next one.